Okay guys, in this tutorial we're gonna learn about switch statement and switch statement is something that is extremely useful when you are doing specific checks. For example, if you know how old those um, applications look like, like games where you type 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 to go into specific sub menu, well, exactly that. But we're gonna do that in C sharp. And actually you have statements, switch statements in most of modern programming languages. Uh, approach is the same pretty much. And almost, almost source code uh, look alike like in all other languages. So nothing special. Right, so first thing is we need to establish container where let's say end user will type a choice through keyboard or through sockets or through some kind of additional hardware. It's really not important, it's just emulation. So we're gonna put that thing into language and let's say that user choose four. How? It's not important for now. So how we are starting? Well, switch, switch, and then we are targeting specific uh, container. In this case, that's language. And now we are opening a bunch of operations, bunch of checks. So we have cases here, case one, two, three, four, five, anything that you need to check for specific, let's say, sub menu. So case uh, end user types one or provides that number in some other way. Well, then we are gonna use a something, some operation. In this case, for simplicity reasons, we're gonna use just printing uh, in a console. So, so, so on a console, console, right line, and we're gonna say uh, for starters, let's say per, Perl, because we are choosing between couple of uh, languages. But that's not enough because when you need choice, uh, some something concrete, then you need to disregard all other options. So how to do that? How to say this in programming in switch statement? Well, you're gonna say break. So when uh, some number, in this case one is detected here, this will be executed and then break, there is no need for other checks. And to save a little bit of time, I'm gonna copy paste this numerous times for other options. For example, two and three and four and uh, let's say five. And that's pretty much enough. You get the point here, but we are going to, let's say uh, target Python with two here, we're gonna target, let's say C++ and PHP. And JavaScript or Java, let's say Java. But the problem here is what if end user somehow types like 150 and something like that, something that is not defined down there. Because sometimes you cannot predict what end user will type or click. So in that case, you need default option. So it's like else in if statement, but this is a switch statement. So we're gonna use default and you will find this in most other languages. Default, this is like backup final alt alternative. And then again, we're gonna use console and break because we must, but this time we need to print some kind of information. So in this case, it will be unknown. Unknown, hopefully that's finally typed. Right, let's press F5. And the choice is PHP. Okay, so four is a, like emulation of user input. And because of case four, PHP is printed. Well, question is what if end user types, uh, I don't know, like five here? Well, then Java will be printed. Why? Because of this statement. What if end user types something ridiculous like 500 F5 unknown. So guys, that's pretty much it. Nothing special. And if you remember end user input from um, one of the first tutorials, then you can uh, grab this number from keyboard. But I will not do that because you already have that in one of the first tutorials. I can't remember second or third one. Sorry about that. Anyway, guys, uh, thank you for watching as always. Practice a little bit. And if you get this in C sharp, you're gonna get this in all programming, modern programming languages. So thank you for watching.
And see, next one, just don't for forget to have like final solution, which will be in default section of switch and you're gonna be fine. Thank you for watching. See you there.